Okay, I wanted to use my right hand for the giraffe today. So that's how I organize those, just in theory. Okay, so the the cluster C help center is open to the public. It offers all the same types of holistic treatments, and it will it offers more. It also offers. It offers pet therapy as well. There, there are already some amazing people out there that go from hospital to hospital with their animals and have like a petting zoo hour for them in the afternoon. And I think this is fantastic. And that can be done for the, this public center that is open, you know, the the cluster C, you know, which are the people that are not dangerous and, and also not dysfunctional. You know, the people that are functioning, that know what's right or left or up or down, you know, the ones that n can navigate through life, that are high functioning. So those are those people like myself, you know, and my husband, you know, the normal neurotics, so, so to speak. They can go there and they can get a lot of help. So they can bring all kinds of different things in and people will be welcome to give their own views on it, also on how to improve it. We will have, in the afternoon, we will have a group session that lasts for two hours as the other two centers have as well but in this group of course it's open people can also go home if they don't feel good or if, if they have something else to do so and probably good also to not have that mandatory it would be only good if the law enforcement personal people, if they do the group therapy mandatorily, because, and there's a strong reason for it, because first of all, a lot of, there's a lot of people that gravitate towards law enforcement that are, and I don't know how to say this without insulting, without stepping on an ego, there's a lot of them that have issues, let me put it that way, okay? My husband included, he is, he was in law enforcement, retired now. So, and when I met him in his bedroom, there was one, the one entire wall of the bedroom was the so-called weapon center, the weapon wall. It's like a, a collage of weapons, you know, it's like the entire wall was loaded with hanging weapons of different sort. And I thought, hmm, those weapons, they have to come off or I'm not going to hang out with you in this room. So, and then we took those off. He took it off reluctantly, but he did. And so, uh, the alarm system, all of this was okay, but the weapons had to come off. I don't want to go into a room lo looking at guns and weapons and knives and and machetes and 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 belly clubs and all of those things. I, you know, in the past I didn't even know those kind of things existed. So I have never touched a gun, for example. My dad had a gun. I never, I, I saw a gun in his drawer one time. I was kind of, I was afraid. So I, I never dared to even touch a gun just because I know how volatile such an instrument is and how dangerous and how easily it can shoot. So this should not even be within reach of children at all. So those people in law enforcement they got issues you know to say it lightly and you know it because many of them became criminal also uh, 
it's it, you know it's it's like if they are not the ones in in charge of the prisoners they will be prisoners themselves you know so my husband knows that also very well he told me about that too you know how many of them have been have been very very violent people not all you know not all so there are always some that do this out of compassion and not out of wanting to have power over other people but the majority will do it out of power over people and that's also of course that is the case with the general public you know so most people seem to want to want seem to want to have power over others it, they think that's the only way to survive or to live they don't understand that this is that is not a pleasant way of living and thinking and feeling so there's a that in itself is a pathology okay and that needs to be treated and those people in law enforcement they should be having to go to those group sessions every day and they will greatly benefit from it and if they have to do it if it's mandatory then they can't then they don't have to feel so bad they don't have to feel like a sissy you know like oh a touchy feely i hear all of these you know that's the, that is the general consensus of the the urban cowboy you know who thinks who has been told that that's touchy feely or new age or whatever you know no it's not it is very helpful and if they're forced to do it then they will do it and they will greatly benefit from it and then they don't have to feel ashamed that they're participating in it because it's mandatory okay so very important in the same sense children and teenagers need to also be given very very strict guidelines and guide and and mandatory restrictions on restrictions on drug use and all of these kind of things so as the father of that one girl already said that when these things are mandatory when it's the law then people don't have to feel this peer pressure they don't have to feel ashamed that they are that they are the homely type because it's the whole the homeliness is given out as a mandate to the public you know, as a law as a as a regulation okay so and people have to adhere to this so that we have to take all of these things into consideration you know the psychology of peer pressure is huge you know and that in itself is a huge pathology and that needs to be addressed in therapy also this is very very important that this is addressed and so these open cluster c help centers you know so again in psych in the psychiatric description cluster c probably has some variation to what I am suggesting in terms of the therapy help centers. So the cluster C help centers are open. The, we have everything also, all the holistic approaches, you know, gardening and, and people can bring in animals and they can do cooking classes there and do all kinds of things and they have every day you know and that needs to we need to have the all three help centers throughout the entire planet so we need to convert existing facilities such as prisons they need to be converted into cluster b help centers and also into cluster a help centers because those are the ones that that have detention that are closed stations, you know, closed psychiatric stations, basically, yeah, that that is necessary. 
and the the cluster C is open and that can be convert that can we can use we can use old churches or you know we can convert churches into that you know. so where the religion is recycled out of that institution and the rational sense and the love and the healing is brought in you know, the way it should be you know and where people can go and where they can a get a actual help instead of going to the the church at the street corner in the afternoon and being brainwashed with some ridiculous nonsense that just causes them more fear and causes them that religion has caused severe schizophrenia in people i just want to make this very very clear that people know what's going on okay so this is a plan for the future and i'm pro we're probably going to need agis you know sentient robots that will help with this because i I doubt that people will voluntarily help with this kind of conversion because their egos are clinging to, to the old concepts and ideas, the, the old ideas of themselves. Who am I if my idea drops or that I have about myself? Then what am I left with, this body and these cells, but where is my image you know the self image of the doctor title on the ceiling the the minister title the 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 or even you know people identify themselves with their cars or with their illnesses even you know so all of this these identifications they have to be dismantled they have to be deconstructed and we have to you know bring all of this come crumbling down and make just shred it all and and make a paste out of it and recycle it into something that is beneficial for all of us so the cluster C centers are there for that purpose of of therapy treatment and also education very important it will have lots and lots of educational classes going and all kinds of things ethics classes and this is very important and it would be nice so and then that that should be there just like for example, the Jiddu Krishna Morty Center has been made into a museum and a, and a library. So, in the same sense, you know, people should be having access to a, a library of books and and audio and and video and be able to educate themselves there. You know, discussion center discussion groups where they can meet for philosophical debates where they can drink herbal tea together very important but it should be open and 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 the therapy and the education you know programs they should be they should be offered but not mandatory so in in the cluster c it would be not probably nice to have a mandatory mandatory group session but i don't know how far that is going to be necessary so the schools and that that's my idea for the complete school reform is that the schools and the virus has helped now in this direction the schools should become completely internet based so and we need an incentive system for the school so people should be given money you know, internet money for scoring specifically high on multiple choice tests and stuff like that. so that's the only way this can be handled and where people will 
kids will actually learn. They will have an incentive to learn. So, and then things will get better, uh, a whole lot better. Okay, you guys take care. Bye-bye.